everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Cold Fire and I'm Kit and today we are going to be reacting to Madonna on the Arsenio Hall show. This was back in 1990 and this is supposed to be the full original appearance of just her part on the show. So let's go with the flow. Move to the music. The Arsenio Hall show is Join me tomorrow night when my guests will be the Winans with Teddy Riley and Howie Mandel. All of them singing. I mean, Howie Mandel, too. They all are going to sing together. So it should be fun. I'd pay to see Howie Mandel with a glove on his head singing gospel with the Winans. Um, this woman will probably leave you breathless. She not only stars in an upcoming movie called Dick Tracy with Warren Beatty, but she also kicks off the American leg of her worldwide tour this Thursday down in Houston, Texas. Hello, Houston. Please welcome Madonna. I love the pantsuit. this business can be it has its ups and downs and one day when you're feeling down yeah. you pull out this tape you put it in the VCR and I remember will. how much they love you. I love the um that was very good Mike. Is, that, is your name Mike? Oh. <laughs> Sorry you told me your name was Mike. Yeah and he didn't turn around that when you said it he cute. was like who oh, me? What is his name? That's Michael yes. Bill. Oh, oh, I thought she was talking to Mike. I'm sorry, I forgot you were here. That's Peter. Peter. Oh, Mike's Peter. the guy whose finger I lit. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Peter. That was very cute. Your video. Oh, thank you. I liked it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. She's talking about fun. You can faint now, Peter. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> we like your new video. Thank you. It's a very nice video. Look. <laughs> Mine can't quite compare to yours. Um, my mother is a big fan of yours. She saw your video and she called me and she said, what does she mean, it gives good faith? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, um, it's not exactly like giving good always looked fabulous, right? Yes. Her face was always sitting. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Okay. She gave her face. She never looked rotten. Yes. Now, now you like just... we all can sometimes. <laughs> you, I've never seen you look bad. Oh, really? You, you always... see me in the morning. Oh, yeah. Contrary to popular belief. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get that. Um, you always look good, and you always do something that you've done twice tonight already. You shock people. Really? Yes, you really know how to create controversy. Mm -hmm. I saw a picture of you the other day and one breast was hanging out. Mm -hmm. I think it was a... <laughs> I think it was in Vanity Fair. Mm -hmm. And trust me, it looked very, very good. But I said, you know, Madonna, she likes to shock people. Is that what it is? Sort of, yeah. And sort of. And, and, and what's that other element? Um, <clears throat> I guess I like to have fun. Yeah. I mean, not a... <laughs> I know that, uh, yeah, I think most of it probably is the shock value because I know 
When we were doing the photo session, my press agent and my manager were both standing there with my, their mouths hanging open going, please don't do that. Yeah. Please button your shirt back up. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you've got it, flaunt it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and trust anyway, guys go around with their shirts off, and they look fabulous. Oh, so, yeah, and, and don't get me wrong, you look fabulous. I uh, know, but I mean, when a guy knows that he's got a great upper body, he takes his shirt off, right? Absolutely. Okay. And you know what? Yours are real. Um, <laughs> and, and the reason... <laughs> <laughs> the reason I, I, I bring that up uh, is because... Madonna and I have something in common. We have a couple of things in common, but one thing is neither of us believe that Latoya's breasts are real. <laughs> no, I didn't even bring that up. Well, it's like I've said it, and uh, well, I, I, I know just because people have told me, but I want to know how you know. Um. <laughs> well, uh, breastology is a science that I study. <laughs> I've seen her... You watch them grow in a week, right? Well, yeah, not only grow, but I've seen pictures of her laying on her back. No, and even though they're beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, they, they, they like... Stand up too straight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they add attention. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can tell. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it too much, so I'm going to get some hate mail. Well, uh, no, I think... No, if, if, they're, if they're about to write, put your pants down, because we're just speaking from, well, what we consider reality, our opinions, and yeah. we're also saying they look good. You yeah, said that. They do. But, they do. But you said she had a job. I did. <laughs> and I think she looks good. <laughs> oh, well. You got to teach me to Vogue, too. I, I, I talked about the video. You're a great dancer. You did something at the past MTV Awards, mm -hmm. a thing where you, I can't even do it, you kick your leg and you go backwards. What is that called? I kicked my leg and it went backwards. You, your whole body went back. It's like the backwards one leg running man or something like that. <laughs> I don't know up, what I did. You keep up on the dances. But I, I, got, I got some great dancers that could teach you how to vogue in my show. Really? And they were also in the video, yeah. I'll have they to, taught um, me. I'll have to come to your show. You Maybe will. I'll fly down to Houston or something. Or you could just go to the show in L.A. Wh where is it going to be here in L.A.? Uh, sports Arena. <laughs> I was also told that you have, like, guys in pointy brassiers dancing. Yeah. Oh, wh where did that come from? Um, my wild imagination. <laughs> now, what are you doing? It's like, it's like, it's, a, it's the whole shot thing. It's like, I take my shirt off. You're not supposed to take your shirt off. And, um, I mean, a respectable girl isn't supposed to take her shirt off. And guys don't wear bras. I mean, but it's all done with a sense of humor. And Gautier, who designed the costumes for my show, um, already had them made up. And, but they were made for girls, and I just decided to have the guys wear them. They look great. Yeah, I hear it's very interesting, and mm -hmm. some things it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> but Actually, you know what it is? It's uh, if you've seen the video, you know, when I open my jacket, and I've got the really long ones on. Yes. That's what they're wearing. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a commercial and come right back and talk about the long one. He was never really good about talking about anything homosexuality. Um, I don't know if it's on this one. Because she did another one with Arsenio Hall, but she does it, does it after A League of Their Own with mm -hmm. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. But he says something against, uh, what do you call it, metaphorically mm -hmm. against gays, mm -hmm. and she pops back at him. Yeah. No, I know. I remember. I remember. I just don't remember which. which I think. I, I don't know if it's this one or not, because she's done so many. Uh, let's let's yeah. keep listening. <laughs> Um, 
the albums. <laughs> come to my show. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make them come, see? Yeah, I'm not gonna sing here. We can't give them everything. Oh. We can't I give everything. I gotta save it up for the show. She's here tonight as an actress to talk about a movie. Okay. And we'll talk a little bit about the album. I wanted to ask you about the song, Hanky Panky. What do you want to know? What is that song about? Now, listen to the words. How do you interpret it? Yeah. How do I interpret it? Well, I wrote it. <laughs> okay, so how do you interpret it? As the writer. <laughs> how did I mean it? Um, well, it's about, it's about a girl who likes a good spanky. <laughs> right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, now, when you say a girl, you don't mean like an eight-year-old who's come oh, home no. with bad grades. You're talking about a woman. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the spanky you get when you're not bad. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the spanky you get when you're good. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Ruth, Dr. Ruth and I touched on this subject one night. Where did you touch? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I, I bent her over like this and touched right about, right about there. I bet she could tell you about getting a spanky. Oh, yeah, yes. I, I like to spank her and call her Baby Ruth. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding. I'm just, just joking. Not kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, have you it, ever what? been spanked, really? Yeah. Be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Recently? You mean the kind yeah. you get when you're a woman? Yeah, when you were good. Definitely. I don't like it really hard, though. Yeah, that's what Dr. Ruth said. She said, as long as it doesn't hurt, as long as it's that hurt so good kind of it's thing. It's a little stinging. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's talk about the movie, Dick Tracy. Okay. Ooh, um, <laughs> let's, discuss, <laughs> let's discuss Breathless. I thought you were going to say breath again. Oh. Um, <laughs> breathless, what do you want to know? Tell me about the character. Um, well, actually, she gets slapped around a lot. Mm -hmm. But not because she wants to. There's a character called Big Boy in the movie. And he's, he's um, her, um, her boyfriend, not by choice. And uh, he's like the gangster who takes over and takes her on as a girlfriend. And he owns the nightclub she sings in and... Um, um, and he smacks her around a lot, and she's kind of... She falls in love with Dick Tracy, who... who wants Big Boy, her, her boyfriend, and, um... She's kind of torn between being a good girl and a bad girl. Yeah. You know? Uh, you brought us a clip. Mm -hmm. What is this clip about? Um, I, I don't really know. Okay, um, I don't know which clip they gave you. Okay, we'll look at it, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. I often do that here. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's can see. I watch it on that thing? Yeah, you can watch it here, but first of all, let me say, this is a clip that I got from Disney, and it's a rough clip because the movie's not totally complete. So it won't look like this when you finally see it in the theaters, but I had to get you something. Sandy, kick it. Hello? You're breaking and entering, you know. Sorry. Sit down. Are you gonna arrest me? If I were gonna arrest you, I'd have done it by now. Then what are you up to, honey? I think Lips Manless is dead. And I want you to tell me who killed him. Or maybe you weren't on his side. Whose side are you on? The side I'm always on. Mine. No grief for lips? I'm wearing black underwear. <laughs> you know, it's legal for me to take you down to the station and sweat it out of you under the lights. I sweat a lot better in the dark. I know how you feel. You don't know if you want to hit me or kiss me. I get a lot of that. Look, you're safe. Big boy's in jail. You're the one that can keep him there. Give me a call.
See, now that clip opens up a whole new can of questions. So I'm going to take a commercial and come right back with Madonna. <laughs> you a question as a representative of all these men and men in America what does Warren Beatty have that we don't have you really want to know yes yes about a billion dollars <laughs> No. I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll, we'll do that again. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does he have? What? Well, I'd have to get to know you better, Arsenio, so that I could let you know what he had that you didn't have. Right, right. So let me reword the question. <laughs> let me reword the question. What is it you like most about Mr. Beatty? Um, <clears throat> God. That's a tough one. He's at home mad because you can't come up with answers. Come on. <laughs> I know he's watching this. Um, what does he have? Oh, oh, oh. Good looking. I know he's good looking, but there's a lot of good looking guys in the world. That's not Sense it. Sensitive. Sense, yeah, that's not what he has that other people don't have. You know, you, you said once in an interview that you liked a man that wasn't afraid to show his. Okay, 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 that's it. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that because he's very shy and he would be afraid to show his um <laughs> what he has is what he has is he's not threatened by my um well i'm a very sort of outspoken forward gal mm -hmm. <laughs> he's not threatened by that and that's what he has that a lot of people don't have he's very okay. sure of himself okay you know? he knows um, who he is okay. joan collins once called him sexually insatiable. Really? Well, he was 20 at the time. Aren't all 20-year-olds? Mm. <laughs> that's true. Mm, that's a good point. I mean, that's when she was dating him. Yeah, he was 20. Yeah. So, um, how is he now? I would say that he's satiable. <laughs> <laughs> Are you satiable also? Yes. Oh, so it's a match made in heaven. Or hell. <laughs> <laughs> However you look at it. Um, no. Of course I am. <clears throat> Is he a jealous kind of guy? I would have a hard time. Um, no. He's not? No. I wouldn't. No, I mean, that's part of being sure of yourself. Yeah. Not being threatened. Are you jealous? Definitely. Mm. What kind of things make you jealous? Are there things that he does or things that happen to him? Um... Like, does the name Joan Collins make you jealous? No. Oh, okay. Have you seen her lately? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> now, I want to know... I call it like a cube, jealousy, baby. I want to know... Are you jealous of John Stamos? <laughs> I mean, I want to know, I want to know how it feels to be dumped for John Stamos. Oh. And, I, <laughs> and I brought you something because I feel bad for you. What is it, like a straight up LP or something? No, it's a, it's a ring, it's a ring, give me your hand. It's a ring. It's a gold ring. Uh -huh. See? Now, okay, now. That's what, because of, that's the that's the booby prize. The booby prize. <laughs> See now, what she's talking about is for those of you who don't know, there was a rumor of me and Paula Abdul a dating. Rumor, right? and then, hey, stop! And, uh, <laughs> and then I guess Paula done. showed up at the Grammys with John Stamos, yeah. and it was a full house. I couldn't go. So. Uh, <laughs> and she wanted somebody who was home more often. 
Oh, Ma. <laughs> You're telling all my you business. You said you were work, you worked every night. You're telling all my it's business. One night off a week, right? Uh, yeah, if that. If that. It's not good enough. <laughs> she turned it around. Look at the, the audience is like, are they going to fight? <laughs> You're, I know you were heading um, in the direction of getting in my <laughs> so I thought I'd turn it around. <laughs> she gets them before they get her. You know, I've heard you got some good so I ain't turning around. <laughs> I'm surging forth, baby. But uh, <laughs> let's, let's go in a different direction. All right. Catholic upbringing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's some very deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and as a matter of fact, someone in here, you, you can, this ring it's looks like... It's you, it's chunky like oh, your name. Yeah, but you know, it looks like some Don King would wear to a wedding or something. It's, just, it's like a nugget ring. I know somebody that'll wear this. Reggie, I got a ring for you. Uh, Put that back on. Okay, okay, okay. You hurt my feelings. I won't. Put on your swear finger. Oh. Okay. I got a ring from Madonna. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Your fingers are very long. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say about guys with long I, fingers. I, 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 <laughs> I thought we were going another direction, Ma. We are. This is the other direction. Oh, okay. And we want to know why he has a band-aid on his hand. Yeah. Ah. Too much spanky. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, you know what? I have like, I have, here, Sandy, can you get this? Ew. I have like five stitches in my hand. Right there. You can see him, see him there? You know why? Because he went back to Paula's house. And you know what she did to him? <laughs> so actually, I was watching your video and got too excited. <laughs> oh, hand hit the TV screen and... I'll tell you what's good for that. What? Vicks Vapo Rub. Okay, we'll take a commercial, I'll get some. <laughs> we'll be right back with me, her, and Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys didn't hear the good stuff. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. He's gonna wear that when Paula's on his show again. <laughs> that ring, that ring that I gave. Now, why are you so insistent on me doing that? Because I'm, I'm, I'm effing with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Have you ever met Paula? Well, actually, I met her uh, on the MTV Awards, the ones yeah. that you hosted. Yeah. He was standing close to her a lot, like the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed that <laughs> Her tights weren't pulled up as high as they could have been. <laughs> Meaning? And I wondered if you had anything to do with that. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. Really, I have nothing against Paula. Though. I think she's great. Yes. But I just, that's the only thing, play, way I know to get at you. Uh, I don't think you're getting at me, but you but ran actually, her out. No, no, no. <laughs> what about um, Eddie Murphy? Uh, did I pull his tights down, too? <laughs> I heard that you did. <laughs> now, seriously, there's a rumor, and I, I want to well, know about it. There's a rumor about you and Sandra Barnhart, but I didn't ask you. <laughs> what do you want to know? Huh? Well, I never pulled her tights down. <laughs> she probably arrived at your house already naked. <laughs> and, you, and you were there waiting with me. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, menage host? Yes. <laughs> I'm down. Um, moving right along. No, they do have those kind of rumors, but I know Sandra and I know for a fact you all are just buddies. That's right. What do you like about Sandra? I bet probably the same things I like. She's funny. Oh, shut up. <laughs> they have their own joke. <laughs> she is funny. She's funny. She's great. She's smart. She's witty and wise. And she likes to F with people, too. Yeah. We have that in common. <laughs>
Yes, indeed. Somebody told me you were out one night, I guess a restaurant, you had a belching competition? We probably did. Yeah. I don't know where you heard that. Well, if you one... read it in Vanity Fair, it was a lie. Because no, no. I read that too, but... One of your people had told me, and yeah. one of your people was shocked by it. Van you didn't like the Vanity Fair? Oh, no, I liked it. I thought it was really good dish. I mean, Vanity Fair always is. Was it accurate? Um, I'd say it was 50% accurate and 50% thrown in drama, but that's good. But doesn't, like... no, doesn't that bug you, though? Um, it wasn't, it wasn't scandalous. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't damaging. I, so it didn't bug me. I hate inaccurate journalism. It, it bothers me. It's like, I'll be scandalous if I want scandalous, you that's know? That's true, and I think that I'm scandalous enough, but they didn't, I mean, you know, I, I, I think only the rest, the stuff in the restaurant with Sandra was the most inaccurate. You know, yeah. if they were really there watching us eat, they would have seen a lot more. <laughs> I mean, all they said was like, what, what, oh, we were eating salad with our fingers. It was totally yeah. untrue. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you had a quote in another magazine, and I assume this is true, it said when you were a little girl back in Michigan, uh -huh. you wanted to be black. Uh-huh. Is that true? Uh-huh. Now, why? Now why? Um, cause all my girlfriends were black, and um, it seemed that their parents were more lenient than my parents. Mm -hmm. So somehow I had it stuck in my mind that it was because they were black they had more fun. Yeah. You know, my parents were really strict. So it wasn't a musical thing. They could dance their asses off too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I got a few lessons in their garage. Yeah. Absolutely. Dance lessons. <laughs> um, Why do we keep going in that direction? I don't know. Uh, these are your answers. I know. I'm asking myself this question. We need Dr. Ruth. Yes. One she day I'll have to, this instead of emo, we'll have to have me, you, and Dr. Ruth. Wouldn't that be a show? And, and, and wouldn't you like to see our children? <laughs> um, you know what? I've had a good time with you. I, well, you know, it's... Um, if anybody, any of my dancers got their hair cut like yours, mm -hmm. they couldn't be in my show. You, you mean this style or, or this mm -hmm. thing, or how do you mean? No, no fades. No fades? Mm -mm. Now, why is that? Because it's tired. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what should I have? A hair like Warren? <laughs> <laughs> Warren's not in my show. Yeah, but he's in your bedroom often. You know. Huh? Oh, come, come on. Come Warren's on. never been in your bedroom? I'm not telling you that. I want to know what kind of bed Paula has. <laughs> I mean, is it a king size or is it a queen size? <laughs> you are cold-blooded. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. About your hair. Yeah, or anything else you want to talk about. <laughs> uh, no, actually, what I was about to say was... Uh, and these couches. These couches have to go. You don't like your couches? Oh. These, you know when you drive down the street and they have those, like, bargain furniture stores? And, and you see the couches in the window and it says half off? Yes. Right? Like on, like, La Brea or Fairfax? <laughs> Is this where you got it? <laughs> See, she's dogging me at I every know you turn. I this year. I ain't said nothing about her Run DMC necklace. Alrighty. I like that interview because I, I don't know. She throws it back at him, which is good. I like how she knows exactly whenever they're trying to go somewhere and she catches them right at that moment and just throws them off their game. Well, I've never been a fan of Arsenio Hall personally, but in some of the, in, in the interviews I've seen him do, um, I mean, he's more of a, 
comedic interviewer, not yes, you know. Yeah. But <clears throat> there's a reason he didn't last long, you know. But well, a lot of talk show hosts back then didn't last too long because there was so much competition. Well, no, he didn't last long because of his. Um, he didn't have stand up for. It was a. It, he didn't know how to dig the knife deep enough it, to get the I don't know this to be true, but I've heard it was because he was very racist. Well, I mean, racist as in there's different inter- interpretations of racist. Racist is against white people, or mm-hmm. or he could be just racist towards his own people. No, he and was ra- pretended no, not it, to be. No, but. it's mainly mainly gay, the gay community. Well, you trying to homophobic <clears throat> but yeah but and but that that's what I heard well I, I I know that there is an Arsenio Hall show out there with the nod on it and he does say something and and it may have been in this one and it may have been cut out mm. but I remember she was talking about Paula's tights weren't pulled up and mm-hmm. he's like well your dancers seem light on their loafers or something. Yeah, something like it that. was it was symbolically suggesting that they were gay, mm-hmm. and she threw shade back at him. But um, but I don't know. It it was like it was. I felt like you know. The only good thing about the show was Madonna was on it. Because it wasn't really yeah we've seen the. <clears throat> I know she was she was trying to um, what do you call it when you go around and um, try to promote the movie Prom- promotional for the Dick Tracy movie. She was trying to push it, you know, in between her grueling blind ambition tour and other things mm-hmm. she was doing. But I think the the thing that stood out to me the most is there wasn't a lot of um, context that was covered. It was more like a um, Two people on the couch just goofing off, yeah. kind yeah. of aspect to this. There was really nothing. Well, that's what it he was like. He antagonized her with sexuality, and she threw it back. And that's what he was it. known for. Yeah, so. it, it wasn't like, you know, he didn't do he didn't do any I, hard I, interviews. What what was you know he didn't ask her any grueling questions yeah. like, you know, how was the movie. Do you know what was the most <clears throat> important part of the movie? Or, you know, if you're going to get on there and talk yeah, about the movie, right but he kept turning towards breast, and mm-hmm. that's why she started going in with, you know, Paula Abdul and him and everything. That's why she turned the tables on him yeah. because she's like, okay, if we're going to talk sexual, let's just go down and talk sexual then because you don't want to talk about my movie. So, but. Like I said, let us know what you thought. Most entertaining about thing I thought was how Madonna was, she, she she was witty and she seemed like she was having fun. Yeah, I think that probably gave her a little escape, you mm-hmm. know, because he was having fun with her and she was having fun with him, and it probably was a relief to get on a talk show and not have to get on there and talk about the same stuff that people are always asking about her personal life and about this and about that. It was like two girlfriends on the couch. Yeah. Well, let, it, let us know what you think about it. Yep. So. Sorry if the other quality of the videos didn't come uh, as well. I know my face is probably covered by some of the video because I, whenever we're looking at the computer, I feel like I need to lean in more towards the middle. And in fact, because it's mirrored, I'm moving away f- t- towards where the video is being played at. Basically, um, he's special. Yes. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed it. We love you guys, and you stick around for the next ones. Bye bye.